Hey folks, and thanks for watching another router video. Okay, so you have your Asus AI Mesh set up. Right now I have just a one node in the master setup. So what I'm going to show you is how to remotely upgrade the firmware. So you log into your router, you click on the admin page and the firmware page, you click on the box for the node and then you enter your username and password select the firmware that you downloaded and unzipped and click OK I'm gonna speed up the upload and the settings portions so you do not have to wait like I did or at least you don't have to wait as long and watch that progress bar go. It's only going at 20x speed, so. By the way, I did this while VPNing into my network remotely. So I am not even there. So it's like double remote. Not only am I remotely updating the node remotely, but I'm remote. And yay! The node is updated. I cut out portions of the video that showed, you know, my LAN address and how to find me. So if you do see a jump cut, that's why. Yeah, see, notice how we just clicked the node and showed you that. And we're going back to the admin page. Okay, all right, so our node has been updated. We're going to update the main router. And same thing, we're selecting the software, we're clicking upload, it's applying settings. And I'm doing this at 20x speed. Can I quickly thank my patron? So if you want to be a patron of my site, you can go to flyingrich.com. You can see all of my links too my patron page, my Patreon page, and my patrons I need to thank. Uh, and you can see the podcast that I do. So the mini PC show, Tilts, that's the Linux Link Tech show. That's the longest running Linux podcast on the planet Earth. And also the makers, which I don't do a whole lot, but that's on podnets.com. And I didn't get to thank my patrons yet. All right, so we've uploaded. I just click and check for the heck of it. No real need to do that. If you look under the reboot there, it says what firmware we're running. So that is the actual firmware. I'm just click and check for the heck of it. And it did say I have to do a reboot, so I will be clicking the reboot button, mashing that reboot button. Like, you guys should be mashing the thumbs up button, love in this video, and subscribing. Because uh, I have less than 1,000 subscribers and less than the 4,000 hours of viewership in the last year to get any ad revenue. There I do it. I click the reboot. And while it's rebooting, I'm going to thank my patrons. Now i got to remember them off the top of my head. I'm going to say John Hollinger because I am right now closest to him. Andy Meows, who's my first uh, Patreon patron. Uh, let's see. Umar Seer, Matt Champ, Token Linux Guy, and who's the guy from Canada? Ian Fox. That's it. It's Ian Fox. I remembered who it was. Really, I paused and I looked it up, so I'm not that good. Okay, so we're applying the settings here on the reboot, and after it reboots, we're going to see that we have our firmware updated on the node and the main mesh router, the, the one that's plugged into the modem. We're logging in again, because I just clicked sign in. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we can see the attic mesh router, and it just took a few moments for it to come up with uh, node clients on the firmware page. So folks, if you have any questions, just contact me by leaving a message below in the comment section, or follow me on Google+, Plus, Richard Hughes 260. That's R-I-C-H-A-R-D-H-U-G-H-E-S 260, and I'm happy to reply to any questions, comments, or anything. And you can see where the mouse is. I was circling it, the firmware version.